Introduction to Pivot Tables So what is a pivot table and why do we use them? Normally we get our data in Excel in list format. By list format we mean we've got headings across the top and then data stored down in each row underneath the headings. So I have 50 rows of data with headings across the top. To analyse this data, I can go, for example, into my data tab and I can look at sorting it, filtering it, and if I go to the far right here, I can also look at grouping or subtotaling it. So if somebody said to me, show me the north region and how many sales we have, I can do it using those tools. However, it might suit me better to put the data into a table format like we have over here. So here I'd like to see the sales that I have per product per region. So I'd like to see the value of the sales for the north region for desktops, for the south region for desktops and so on. Using my sorts and my filters and my subtotals, I could go and calculate the different subtotals and then manually enter them into this summary table. Although it's possible, it will take a long time to do it. So instead, if this is what you're looking for, a summary table of data, then you should be using the pivot table. The pivot table will take a list, like we've got here, of raw data, and it will convert it into a table structure that will provide you with a summary of the data. To do this, we need to create a pivot table and we'll do that in the next lesson.